Are you having trouble sleeping or perhaps concentrating? White noise might be the solution you've been looking for. You might be thinking, how can this help me concentrate? But before you click away, you should know there's more to white noise than most people realize. Hi, I'm Mitch. I'm the host of the Sleep Audiobooks YouTube channel. Like almost anything, when you start to learn about something new that seems simple, it tends to reveal a rabbit hole of information you didn't expect. A whole world of surprising nuance and complexity seems to exist below the calm surface of almost every subject you could think of. White noise is no exception. In fact, there's more than just white noise. There's gray noise, blue noise, even purple noise, and pink noise. In this video, we're going to cover the quick basics of the broad differences in static noises and what each color means. And then we'll share samples of each. Finding the right sound could be exactly what you need for better sleep or even just to relax. At the end, you should have the knowledge to continue learning more if this fascinates you, or if you're just looking for a good 10 hours of specific noise, we have a playlist of over seven color noises for you to choose from. While most people refer to white noise to cover pretty much any sound that's static or hissing, white noise actually has a variety of different categories that vary in loudness, frequency, spectrum, and intensity. In the audio engineering and telecommunications world, there are more specific terms that describe various noise signals. These labels are part of the noise spectrum and can also be considered the color of noise. Different colors of noise have significantly different properties. Now to keep things simple, we won't go over the technical ranges for most of these different sounds, but we'll run through different colors and discuss some of their differences. My personal favorite is red, also known as deep brownian noise, but you might like pink noise or even yellow noise. So let's check them out. White noise is a random signal consisting of equal amounts of all frequencies in the human hearing range. That's around 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's often described as sounding like static, hissing, or white surf. It's used for sound masking and can help some people fall asleep or concentrate better. Gray noise is like white noise, but it's altered to attempt to follow an equal loudness contour. The result is that gray noise contains all frequencies with equal loudness, as opposed to white noise, which contains all frequencies with equal energy. The difference between the two is the result of psychoacoustics. Or more specifically, gray noise tries to adjust white noise so that it sounds like all frequencies are the same to the human ear. This is because human hearing is more sensitive to some frequencies than others. Since loudness curves depend not only on the individual but also on the volume the noise is played at, there's actually no one true gray noise. But there is a simpler approximation of an equal loudness noise, and that is pink noise. With pink noise, each octave interval, halving or doubling in frequency, carries an equal amount of noise energy. It kind of sounds like a waterfall and is often used to tune loudspeaker systems in professional audio. Since we're at pink, let's move to purple. Violet noise, also called purple noise, is similar to white noise, but it's shifted higher. This color range is primarily high frequency noise and sounds like a lighter and higher pitched hiss. Blue noise is also called azure noise. It's a scientific definition that involves power increasing at specific rates. Some nuclear processes create blue noise, and less officially, artists have started calling noise that sounds like water blue noise. Green noise is a less formal term for white noise that is adjusted for a stronger mid-range frequency. Some people describe green noise as simulating a more common spectrum of noises that humans make, and emphasizes sounds in the vocal range. Yellow noise is another informal noise that is a mix of lower frequencies and higher frequencies to create something that sounds something like wind. Orange noise is another informal noise, but is much deeper than yellow, but not quite as deep as red. Red noise is a deep noise that can also be considered a brown noise or brownian noise with a heavy adjustment towards deeper tones. It almost sounds like you are on a spaceship. Brown noise is named after brownian motion and decreases in octaves as the frequency of the sound increases. It can sound a lot like an ocean. And finally, black noise. Black noise is actually a term in telecommunications, and it's the absence of most noises, but it can contain a few random blips of frequency just around the top range of our ability to hear. So most of the time you won't hear anything at all, but for some there might be a perceived sense that the background noise is there. So here are a few formal and informal terms for different kinds of white noise. While this channel is typically dedicated to audiobooks, we're constantly looking for different tools to help people fall asleep and white noise has been known to be one of them. If you want to listen to one for a longer period of time, we have a playlist of all of these sounds available on the channel. I hope this video has been enlightening, and I can't wait to see you soon. Thanks for watching. This is Sleep Audiobooks.